Oh, poor Mason, sitting all alone in his chair, staring into the infinite abyss and darkness. Good on you, Mason. Good on you, good on you. Is that a massive baseball bat or a blunt? Nope, that's a giant bloody baseball bat. Excuse me. And there's a face of a ghost on the chalkboard. Who are you and what do you want? Oh, you're talking to me. Apparently you haven't been cooperating with my guys, yet I still took your handcuffs off, right? Uh, yeah, I'm assuming so. Oh, well, we, yes, there they are right there on the, uh, what is this, a desk? I said it a thousand times already. I'm innocent, Officer Fletcher. Let me go. Then whose bloody baseball bat is that? Whose baseball bat? Is that my baseball bat? Uh, I don't know about that one. Look, we are searching for the body. If we find it, you will have no choice but to tell the truth. Mason, the fingerprints on the weapon belong to you. The only suspect is you. Well, maybe that's just my baseball bat. Maybe somebody took that baseball bat. Maybe they had on gloves. Maybe they were prepared to beat whoever that... Who, who's ever blood that is on the bat? Maybe they're prepared to beat them with it. I told you the bat is mine, but I haven't used it since high school, and only during baseball games. You've never used that bat to bludgeon people? Three days ago, Ashley broke up with me. I had to leave the house with all my stuff there, including the bat. You didn't say that during an interrogation. You have the motive. Admit it, Mason. You're done. You you are done. You're done. Same thing. The bland, just faceless, emotionless stare that you're giving me is really throwing me off right now, buddy. I'm telling you this now because you took my handcuffs off. I have nothing to hide. As I said, I was in the pub all night. But I got to ask, why isn't her new boyfriend accused of anything? He clearly hates me publicly. Her current boyfriend is out of town. He has an alibi. Now, are you going to pretend that you have one? An alibi? Or a boyfriend? Because I might have an alibi, depending on who you ask, because I'm not sure where this story where this story is going. I told Officer Williams about the location of the pub. He will bring the alibi, and the story will end with me free of all charges. You're very confident. A bold act requires a high degree of confidence, which you certainly have. That's sus. Oh my goodness, that almost blew my eardrums out. Officer Fletcher, sorry to interfere, but Mason was at the pub 10 hours ago. His alibi is confirmed. He is clear, sir. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Thank you, Officer Williams. Please do not interrupt me next time. So, Mason, where were you? I already told you this. My alibi was confirmed. What else do you want? You want a handshake? What else do you want me to say? You have no right to keep me here any longer, do you? We got your fingerprints. You chose to represent your truth without a lawyer. Now deal with the consequences. You will stay here or be transferred to your cell until we find the body or recover any new information about Ashley. Fine, I won't suspect your decision. Yet you should know, after all this, you owe me a big apology. You kiss your mother with that mouse? What happened to Mr. Confident there, Mason? Don't worry, we have a blanket in the cell. That's outrageous. I literally told you that I did nothing wrong. Is this me? Is this me? So I, I hopped off the bike. I got the bat in hand. She's standing there. She don't even know I'm here. She don't even know I'm here. Tiptoe. Tiptoe. Ooh, I'm so sneaky. I'm so sneaky. Walk. Ooh, my goodness. Oh my gosh. Get blammed. Get absolutely, get absolutely cranked on. Get absolutely cranked on. Is that it? Is that it? So it was me? So I really got the cranking on her? Is that it? Good job, Mason. Good job, Mason. I, I'm nice, to, nice to see you had a nice home run hitter with her, with the, the back of her head. You really, you really showed, um, showed her what's what, I guess. Good job, Mason.